Last week we had a look at five killer tones you can get from the Marshall DSL. This week we're going to have a look at a very similar thing with the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. Most people associate this amp with one sound, which is a very fizzy, bottom heavy, scoop mid range kind of new metal guitar sound. And while it does that very, very well, it can do a whole bunch of other things. So the old two channel rectos, which are my favorites. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, whether it's like the old Rev G or Rev F or the Tremoverb or uh, what else, the modern three channel, the multi-watt, the mini recto. There's a whole bunch of different revisions that Mesa have put out over the years. I have a Rev G with a Rev F badge. So the serial number matches up with it being a Rev G, uh, but the little badge means it's probably some kind of transition model. Mine is a 240 volt model. So maybe it's got something to do with a batch of amps that they sent down here to Australia. Essentially the idea on the old two channel version is that channel one can select between a dedicated clean channel, an orange vintage mode, or it can clone channel two, which by default is set to the modern high gain mode. You can also set channel two, the red channel, to clone the vintage mode from the orange channel. Then we can select between solid state or tube rectifiers, and there's a bold and a spongy mode. So I'm going to explore hopefully all of those modes here. We're going to start off on the clean channel, so the orange channel set clean. Essentially what I've done here is I've got the bass at about noon, the middle probably about two o'clock, the treble cranked, the gain at around one o'clock, and the master at noon uh, running into the fractal X load. The reason being I want to showcase this with a bunch of different speakers. So we're starting off with these York Audio Fender Deluxe IRs based on a 60s Oxford speaker. This one should be out by the time this video comes out. So if you're a Fractal user, go and check those out. You can load them up into your AX8, AxeFX, or into Cab Lab. I'm running the X load into my AxeFX 3 just for IR loading, and then I'm applying a little bit of high and low pass uh, in the AxeFX 3, and then that is going straight into Pro Tools with no other processing going on there. This is my Fender YJM Strat. It's actually got an aftermarket warmth body, and I'm playing on the neck pickup. So setting up the clean channel like this gives you a very Fendery edge of breakup kind of sound. And I'm gonna start out on the non-spongy mode, so the high power mode on the Recto. And this kind of gives you like a blackface Fender kind of clean, whereas if you swap over to the spongy mode, that almost kind of makes it tweedy. So enough talking, let's have a listen to some sound examples. So not the normal sound we would associate with a dual rectifier. It's really, really glassy. So what you can do is back off the treble and presence a little bit. So I'll bring the presence down and I will bring the treble down and you get this on the neck pickup. So it kind of pays homage to the obvious legacy that Fender Amps had on Mesa Boogie. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, the original Mesa Mark I was based around a modified Fender Princeton. So that's kind of cool. It also takes pedals like a champ. I've got my Anarchy Audio uh, Workhorse, which is a Klon style pedal sitting in the rack. This is what it does with the, basically the gain on full and the treble and the volume at about nine o'clock. Clean. <laughs>
which is a killer blues rock tone. What I'm going to do now is swap over to the spongy mode. Uh, we'll just have a listen to the clean sound one more time for reference, and then we'll have a listen to the spongy mode. It just adds a little bit of kind of tweedish snarl. Very, very subtle there, but it definitely changes the feel of the amp when you're playing. It's uh, definitely got a slower attack and, you know, spongy kind of lives up to the name there. So that is how you can get, I guess, two really great clean sounds out of this amp. What I'll do is I'll swap over to a Les Paul style guitar with humbuckers and we'll have a listen to the Orange Vintage channel. Okay, what I have done is swapped over to a set of Greenback IRs. This is from another York Audio cab pack which has just come out based around an old 70s Marshall cab with greenbacks so using greenbacks really really brings into that sort of classic Marshall territory most people use rectifiers with V30s and the speaker cab and the speaker itself have such a huge impact on the overall tone so we're on the vintage mode of the orange channel I put the gain at about nine o'clock I think Yep, 9 o'clock, and then treble and middle are on full, and I've got the bass backed right off with the presence at about 1 o'clock. I've also swapped the X-Load vo voicing, the voicing, uh, the voicing over to UK mode, so that has raised the resonant frequency, which would be in line with using a greenback cab. This is my STR LJ1. It's got a PAF-style humbucker in the bridge, and this does a pretty convincing sort of Marshall. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do with the workhorse is I will set the output all the way up, the treble at 9 o'clock and the gain off, so essentially it's just a clean boost and it does this. <laughs> Obviously the mess is using 6L6 tubes, so you're not going to get that EL34 style crunch out of it. But that's, you know, if you were doing a gig and you needed a Marshall-y kind of sound out of your Recto, you could definitely get it just by setting the gain really low on the orange channel. So what we're going to do next is, uh, you know, make some chunky kind of sounds. And I want to explore the channel cloning on this orange mode because the orange mode, I think, actually sounds distinctly different to the red mode. And I really, really like it. So for this clip, I'm using my PRS SC245 and I'm using a V30 IR that I made. Let's have a listen to the red channel on modern mode and then we'll compare it to the orange clone of that. That's interesting, the orange channel seems to have a little bit more low end and low mid range. The knobs are set exactly the same there, of course, if you wanted to dial these in to sound exactly the same, you could probably do it just by using different knob settings, but there's a cool character that the orange channel has, especially when you boost it, because there's a little bit more low end and low mid range when you slam it with something like the workhorse, it does this. <laughs>
I guess it's like a two-in-one kind of tone theme there. Using the orange channel set to clone the red modern channel, I think gives you great results. And then also, finally, if you want a tight metal tone out of your recto, boosting it with either, in this case, I'm using like a clone clone, you know, the Anarchy audio pedals aren't being made anymore, but there's such a great version of that. I know there's heaps of clone clones like the Wampler Tumnus or the J-Rocket Archer and stuff like that, or the KTR, you know, yeah, the whole clone thing is a different rabbit hole, or you can just use a Tube Screamer or a Boss SD-1, which is even cheaper and get great results. So again, with the Recto unboosted, <laughs> There you go, there's five things you can do with your Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. I think the biggest thing with this amp is dialing it in with different cabinets or different IR choices. Using the X load's great because you've got two voicings between a UK mode and a US mode. The US mode's great for cleans and using it with Fender IRs or you know, you can obviously use like a real cabinet with some, uh, if you've got an old Oxford or you know, EVs or Jensen's or stuff like that are gonna give you really cool vintage tones. And of course using it with greenbacks for more of a kind of British thing or V30s for your modern metal thing. And boosting rectos I think is such an important thing. It really brings out the character in them because they are so kind of boomy in the low end and playing around, uh, we didn't do it in this video, playing around with the rectification settings. If you want even more tightness out of your tone, use solid state rectification. I kind of like the sag that tube rectification gives you. That's part of the character of this amp. Uh, and the bold and spongy switch. And obviously, you know, if you're using like a tremor verb or a multi watt or something, there's a whole bunch of other options on there. So go and have some fun with your message or rec and uh, dial in some new tones with it. Or just do what I do, which is just sit there and chunk in drop C with a boost on. It's awesome. <laughs> See you guys next time.